Hi everyone, it's DJ here from CozyRC. Welcome to part 2 of my DIY twin drive mono build. I'm going to update you on all the steps that I made since part 1. Uh, for part 1, please look at the description. The hole has uh, its bottom sheeting now. This is 1.5mm birch ply. Also I added the sides from 1mm birch ply. And I started to laminate the inside of the hole with carbon weave. This bolt has to become really strong because you might have seen my video where I crashed and destroyed my wild thing. But I learned a lot from that crash and I will implement improvements in this design. These ribs will really strengthen the hole. When I flip the hole, you can see on the back side or on the sides of the hole that I added a flange here. I will probably trim it down a little bit, but this flange hopefully will improve cornering. This flange will bite into the water. I also hope that it will improve the straight away stability of the hull. So here you can see them from the back. I really took good care when I applied the bottom sheeting that this surface is absolutely flat. When I grab a ruler and I apply it at the bottom part of the hull, it is absolutely flat. And this will really improve the performance and the speed of the boat. Thank you. 
mind on the setup. In part one, I discussed the option of a strut or a stinger drive. And finally, I decided I will use dual stinger drives. The stinger drives are just easier. It's also a more common solution, a proven solution. I will make my own stingers, fully DIY. So this is the first part of the stinger. It's in the rough shape still and not very accurate. I will put a carbon tube here with uh, bearings. And uh, finally, this will become an adjustable stinger. Please keep a watch on my videos and then you will see how I will make it. I already got the drive shafts. These are 4.76 millimeter flex shafts. This is basically uh, an assembly that I bought just like this. The prop shaft and the flex shaft are uh, seamlessly connected. I did find that the wire of this flex shaft seems a bit rougher or thicker than the wire I use for my other boats. But let's see how it will last. The shout out goes to CAPRC631. I will put a link in the description. He is my RC friend and he makes some really nice boats. One of his latest builds is this GT30 racing class outboard monohull. Just look at this boat. It has a driver. It has a great paint scheme. It just looks like the real thing and it also performs really well. Please check out his channel and you will find the video of this great hull. Alright guys, it's already the end of the video. I hope to see you in part 3 or one of my other videos. I see you soon. Bye.